Listen, guys, I'm still reeling from 900 acre feet to 9,000 acre feet. Now, it was a pretty busy Friday as things finally calmed down. Didn't matter if you were at the car wash or at the grocery store. It's been packed pretty busy. Everybody taking advantage of this beautiful weather right now. And things are going to continue to stay this way until about the middle of next week where we're tracking more severe weather. Looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours from those mid 80s down into those upper 60s, then a good 20 degree run into just below 90 degrees and things are going to be dropping back down about another 23 degrees into those mid 60s tonight as that cloud cover clears up 89 in San Angelo everybody else in a good combination of mid 80s all the way up into those lower 90s across the entire region it's going to be beautiful so make sure you get good snacks a lot of water and then get out there because it is going to be a beautiful Friday night for football 83 in Sterling City 90 down there in Junction 89 in San Angelo always looking for 10 degrees right now but it's about seven across the entire region that's because we're still holding on to a little bit of that moisture but we're down quite a bit from earlier this week take a good look dew points are somewhere in between those upper 50s all the way into those lower 60s but those humidity indices have nearly halved if not down about a third if they're not pushing into those 30s and those 40s across the entire region we shouldn't see any thunderstorm activity even though it's supposed to be popping up right now with some of those stronger winds from the north blame it on this strong low pressure making its way in and then we're looking at this high and this ridging making its way in by the beginning beginning of next week where we're going to still hold on to some of those beautiful temperatures but this strong monster low pressure system with this long wave trough making its way in is going to be the next opportunity for some severe weather and we're looking at some hurricane like conditions now you can see the dry air really making its way in with that cold front and that's where we're seeing those beautiful temperatures with those cooler temp as well as post frontal conditions but the circulation just south of Louisiana is really what we have our attention focused on right now you're watching the shades of tan and brown make their way through with those post frontal conditions but we're really tracking the concentration of orange around the Gulf Coast region they're seeing a lot of flooding across the entire area severe weather outlook has the Concho Valley in it but I'm not quite sure why because we haven't seen a lot of severe weather speaking of severe weather one has finally jumped up 90 L right now across just on the east side of the Yucatan Peninsula. Once it makes its way into the Bay of Campeche, we're going to track it as it makes its trajectory north into the Concho Valley. We'll see just how much severe weather we see. Right now, we're just seeing a lot of calm skies and some light cloud cover. Again, pushing out of the north with some of those stronger winds. Futurecast in the radar really is going to show you where we're tracking some pockets of moisture across the entire region. But the Futurecast will now show you how those suppressive to northerly winds will calm things down before Friday night. And then it's going to shape up for a pretty spectacular Saturday. Take a good look this is the circulation over Louisiana but nothing in the Concho Valley for Saturday and Sunday so make sure you get out down to the visitor center for shine a light and then of course take advantage of those beautiful conditions because remember it is hunting season so tonight down into those mid 60s after the game time then tomorrow right back up into those mid 80s so get out there and capitalize on that beautiful weather because we're going to be holding on to these cooler temperatures up until about the middle of next week where again we're going to see that strong low pressure system make its way in hopefully we see significant amounts of water across the entire region but nothing too dangerous as we're going to slowly creep back up into those lower 90s stay tuned all more for the break you're watching ksan news at five